Guess what we're reviewing today? It is Mossberg's brand new shotgun. Wait a minute. It's a handgun. Gonna check out the Mossberg MC1. Watch the video. America! What's up guys, Mr. Guns again. We're checking out the Mossberg MC1, the first handgun offering that they've given us since 1932. We all know about the 500s and Mossberg semi-auto shotguns and things that people all around the world love, but this is the first time any of us in our lifetimes have seen a pistol. I'm excited to check it out. Once we got one in the shop, it was a pretty impressive little gun and we're excited to bring it to you and, and show you everything that's on it. So what's in the box? What do you get with your Mossberg MC1? So it does come with this cardboard box, and I know it's not as fancy as a box or a case that comes with a Glock uh, 43 or something, but it's easily 100 bucks cheaper than a Glock 43. As time goes by, we're probably going to see them even cheaper than that. They may get down as low as like 150 bucks cheaper than a Glock 43. So when we open up the box, not tons of bells and whistles. We, of course, have the lock and all the stuff that's supposed to come with it. It does come with two magazines. The interesting thing about this gun is that these are Glock 43 compatible. So Mossberg had the foresight to use a standard industry mag design. And then, of course, you get the gun with it. There's got manuals in there and everything else. Uh, you can see how nice the gun is, that it's got this nice grip with the the rough texture. This is actually a reversible safety on this gun. You'll notice it has this really sweet flat trigger as well. I'm a big fan of that trigger. The trigger I feel like is better than the trigger on the Glock itself. Again, it's the MC1 SC because it's a subcompact. The, the specs on this gun is that it's 22 ounces fully loaded. That's right along with the, the Glock uh, 43's weight. It's got a, a nice snag-free frame. Notice that everything is rounded on here. The slide is, is stainless steel with, a, with DLC coating. It's got a 3.4 inch barrel. The, the trigger guard is a little bit large on this. It kind of gives you a little bit more room uh, for access and grip and that kind of thing. Again, we have this nice flat trigger on the gun uh, and it, it has that same uh, drop safety like a Glock would have. It's got that aggressive grip texture. It does have kind of a nice palm swell on here as well to make it feel a little better in your gun. Uh, then of course the polymer frame, and then it comes with one six round stubby magazine. You can see there that's flat on the bottom, and then it comes with an extended magazine that is a seven round. So that's kind of how it comes. One thing we did not mention is it just has standard white dot sights. They are releasing a model, or maybe they have released a model that's going to have a Viridian laser under the trigger guard. But here, in my opinion, is one of the coolest things about this gun, is the takedown. Now this gun is obviously not loaded, I would not do that, uh, but as you know, uh, when you take down a Glock, you have to pull the trigger to take the slide off. This gun has got the neatest, most innovative breakdown system that I've seen in a long time. You pull this slide back, and you notice that there's a button right here. Well, we press in on this button on the back of the gun, and this comes out, and guess what happens? As you slide the slide forward, it pushes the, the firing pin out of the barrel, so it cannot go off. And then you push this guy forward and it comes apart that simply. And then of course it does disassemble like a typical handgun of just about any type that is a semi-auto. I think that that is a cool, cool feature. And then it goes back together just as easy as it came apart. But it's a very safe disassembly because of the way that that uh, button and the release in the back work. And then you take the gun, you pull it back together. You lock the slide into place. It is keyed. You can see that you know the bottom of the striker is right there. You push that back in, and you go and you put this piece back in the rear, and the gun is reassembled. It is super easy takedown. Anybody can do it, and that is a, an amazing feature on that gun. 
I haven't seen too many videos of this gun being fired. So what we're going to do for you guys is we're going to put a few rounds through this gun and see what we think. We're not going to go too crazy with it, but we'll run a few mags through this thing, see how it shoots, and see if we're fans of it. Alright, so since this is a little concealment gun, we're going to shoot it in the way uh, of a concealed carry class. Here in LTC class in Texas, uh, you shoot at 3 and 7 and 15 yards. I'm just going to pick it up at 7 yards. We're going to do a little accuracy testing on the gun. First uh, magazine, I have six rounds of just some crusty old Winchester white box. And then I have another seven rounds of PMC in my pocket. I feel like that's the kind of ammo that you know most normal people shoot at the range. Just some kind of regular old cheap stuff. This does have a 3.4 inch barrel. It is a small gun. It may be a little bit snappy, but we're going to find out what we think of it. Let's shoot. All right, that is the shorter grip. It is kind of a little bit of a snappy gun, but it's not too bad. This is gonna be the longer grip with the seven round magazine, and we're shooting the uh, PMC out of this. Alright, let's run this on some steel a little bit. Uh, this is a really mixed magazine of ammo. I have two pieces of Blazer aluminum in here separated by one uh, 115 grain white box Winchester and then on top of that I have three PMC. So it's going to go PMC, 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 Blazer, Winchester, PMC out of this magazine. So uh, that'll let us know if it has any issues with any kind of mixed bag ammo or anything like that. I'm going for the little target. Oh, I got it. Shoots really good. Let me try to let that one settle down. Ah, I'm going to move to the one next to it. Got it. I even got it on the move. That's pretty cool. All right, where's my other magazine? Here it is. This is all PMC in here. I don't know if I'll hit that little one. Let's try to get it to be still. I'm going to go back to the one next to it. Very good. There we go. One more round, I think. Very good. Definitely, definitely a practical shooter. While we're over there on the other targets where we're worried about accuracy and trying to just get things in close to see how it shoots, you can look that we're able to hit four inch and six inch and 10 inch targets there. So from a practical defensive perspective, at 15 yards, this thing you can hit anything you need to with it. All right, we're gonna finish up this video inside where it's warm. What did we learn today, kids? We learned never underestimate an American classic and that a shotgun company can make one hell of a handgun. We went and ran this gun quite a bit off camera, put a lot of rounds through this thing, and I can tell you that my wife was out here with me too, and both of us really enjoyed this handgun. It's a great little shooter. I love this awesome flat trigger that's on here. It was just all around. I was more impressed with this gun than I've been in quite some time. So if you need a new concealment gun or you just want something that's a lot of fun, I mean, after all, this thing is pretty cheap. Go out and pick you up one. I bet you'll have a great time with it. If you get a chance to wrap your hands around one of these, I would definitely take it. So until next time, y'all take it easy. 
Hey guys, it's Mr. Guns. Thanks for watching our video. If you thought it was cool, go ahead and like and subscribe. We should have a bunch of cool stuff coming in the future too. Uh, or follow us on Facebook and Instagram if you just want to get good gun deals or see what we got going on. The links will be in the descriptions below. So thanks for watching the video and we hope you'll follow us in the future.